Friday, it's 444RR with my Magic Collection. Noah Brady, uh, who's doing a 365-day Magic Challenge on his channel, go check it out, wanted me to show off all of the Magic that I own. He wanted to see every single piece of Magic that I own, and I'm going to happily oblige, and I'm going to show it to you. Now, I'm filming this intro part first, so I don't know how long the video actually is going to be, but it's probably going to be over an hour long, so stick around to the end. Anybody who sticks around to the end is going to get a... Uh, has something special to do at the end of this video. I won't talk about it yet. You gotta watch the entire thing, and then uh, there'll be some kind of special thing at the end. So we're gonna start first by showing you every. Now, if you saw my behind the scenes video, I have a uh, dresser over here full of magic, and then a three bin storage cabinet. I'm gonna pull everything out of both of those things first, and then I'm gonna do what's inside of the magic shop cabinet. And then I'll do what's in the in the shelves. Or maybe I'll do the shelves first in the cabinet. Whatever. But I'll, I'm going to pull everything off so you can see it. Uh, these are, we're we'll start with the deck of cards, the, the card pyramid here. These are not all of my cards. Some of them are still in the magic shop cabinet here. So uh, but these are most of the cards that I have like over here and I, that I keep inside of my close-up uh, case and all that good stuff. So I'm going to go through some of these. Um, some of these are just backup decks and some of them are useless decks because they're missing like half the cards. So I don't even know if all these decks are going to be good. I'm also cleaning my magic room today as I do this so that I can see, you know, uh, if any of these cards can get thrown away. So let's start with the first one on top here. This is my gold deck of cards. I got these for Christmas. These are really cool. I'm going to show you just a few of these cards here. But take a look at these. They have... Um, like money on the back of them, they have like gold Benjamin Franklins, and the fronts are like gold. That's really cool. These are really cool decks of cards. My mom got these for me for Christmas, and she got them off Groupon. So really neat deck of cards. So that, those are my gold deck. I have my uh, waterproof deck, as I call it. This this is really cool because the cards are kind of like see through, and they're not paper. They're like uh, laminated almost. So it's really cool. And then I have my Once Upon a Time storybook collection. This is direct from the factory, a really great trick where uh, the mental photography deck, is, as it's normally called. This is the fill trick. And then I have the celebrity smart butt deck. And this one is the not a card trick where it's the cut and restored rope. This, this one, I believe, is my Antac deck. No, this is not my Antac deck. This is something other deck. See, some of these decks, I don't even know what they do. So, yeah. Uh, this is my... For, uh, no, Freedom Pack. Freedom Pack deck. This one is... A lot, some of these I have labeled. Some of these I don't. This is my Antac deck. This is my Antac deck here. Let's see. This one is probably a just a general deck of cards here. Well, oh, I know what that one's for. Okay, that's for another truck. Can't remember the name of it, though. I have a one-way forcing deck here. A uh, blank card. I don't know why that's there. Um, that should go over there. Uh, let's see. I have my Master uh, deck of cards. I don't think I don't think I did this for a 365 Day Magic Challenge. I should definitely do that for a Magic Monday. This is uh, a card trick for another trick that needs a deck of cards. Uh, yeah, this is my special deck of cards for my TV card frame, and you'll see that in a minute. Hey, I got that right in there. Cool. Uh, this is my Fast Ingenious deck. I had the Fake Ingenious deck in here somewhere, too. Uh, Poker Peak cards. This one is, well, another deck of cards. I'm not going to open up all these see what they are. My, one of my Svengali decks. Uh, another deck of cards. This is my Mastermind trick. No, uh, that's some trick with ESP. I can't remember the name of it. Uh, yeah, this is uh, To Do Night at the Improv with. An unopened deck of cards. These two are special to me because these are my Jay Brothwick cards. Jay Brothwick sent me these when he sent me uh, the Trickster DVD the first time. So uh, this is an unopened deck of cards. My ones to do, Smiling Assassin. Another unopened deck of cards. As a magician, you should have unopened deck of cards all the time. Um, a Houdini deck. Very good trick. Another Svengali deck. Uh, I don't know which one this one is. Another set of Poker Peak playing cards. Uh, this is Split deck. Very great deck of cards. Good trick. Another random deck. I don't know what it is. Another random deck. Another one-way forcing deck. This is another unopened deck. i got a lot of unopened decks here, actually. I don't need to buy cards for a while. Another random deck. This is another random deck. If I open it up, I'll know what the trick is. This is uh, Spreadway by Matthew Breach. I should relearn this again. That was a good trick. Uh, this is Kaleidoscope Cards. This is the non-El Capitan. No, these are the El Capitan ones. Okay. This is the El Capitan ones. My fake Ingenious deck. This is the deck that I use the most. 
two more sets of unopened Bicycle Poker Beat cards, uh, more random decks, more one-way forcing. Uh, this is, oh gosh, can't remember the name of this one, but it's not set up to do it, so I can't do it. I screwed that up at one point. Another one-way forcing deck, Tragic Royalty deck, really cool deck. This one is Cartoon. This is Cartoon 1, I believe, actually. Tricycle, very great trick. Uh, this is the, oh, Diminishing Returns trick. Another unopened deck of cards. Wow. Uh, I could have brought my own card shop with all these. This is a random deck. This was to do, um, one of, uh, Sean Farquhar's tricks that I learned off of a lecture he did. I don't know which one this is. This is my animated deck. A really great deck of cards. I love this one. This is, oh, an invisible deck. Always gonna have an invisible deck in my hand. Not that many cards in here, so I don't know what that's used for. Another one-way forcing deck. This is my regular deck of cards. This is another po uh, Bicycle Poker Peak. Cartoon 2. Not very many cards in here, so it must be a blank deck. Uh, more Kaleidoscope cards. This is the actual Kaleidoscope cards that have like business cards instead of cards. Uh, cartoon 1. This is a regular deck, I think. A trick deck to do Sam the Bellhop with. This one is, oh, I love this one. I do. Uh, let me get this one up here. There we go. This is, uh, the cards are blue. Wait a minute, sorry. There should be red cards. There we go. See, now they're red cards. There we go. That's better. Uh, another Sean Farquhar, uh, another deck to do the Sean Farquhar thing. Another unopened deck. Of no, that's not unopened. That's open. Uh, yeah, that's open. This is not many cards in here, and this is to do the shark with. So... Very, very, that's all my decks of cards that are in there. And uh, now, uh, so yeah, I got a lot of cards, as you can see, lots of cards. So uh, that's going to do it for the card portion. So I'm going to uh, edit this video. I'm going to pause it, and I'm going to grab some more stuff out. So, yeah, I'm going to clean these cards up, and we'll be right back. All right, so all this stuff that I have here came out of one of the drawers that all the decks of cards came out of. So let me... Uh, just go through some of the stuff really quickly here. I have star caps. These are for smiling assassin uh, to load the gun with. I have some blank card wallets here, 99 cents each, usually at most magic stores. Let's see. This is an Elmwood trick where it's with a magnet and the arrows always point towards the magnet. Uh, bagless purse frame. This one is alien autopsy uses an Elmsley count, so it's kind of a unique trick. I don't do the Elmsley count very well. This is a um, Nick Trost trick. I don't remember the name of that one, but anyways. This is a wild card, set up and ready to go. This is a version of the princess card trick. It's a really, really cool version of the princess. It's kind of like the princess card trick. If I remember how to do this correctly, um, and it may not be the right way, but anyways, you, you say, think, memorize a card, any one you want. Don't do the Joker, because everybody will always pick that. You got one? Great. All right, here we go. Ready? And the Joker has turned itself over, and is your card gone? And that's a little uh, princess card trick there. All right, and let's see what else is in here. I got a set of cups and balls. You'll see I have a lot more sets of these cups and balls as I go through my magic. This one is one of the shark gimmicks, so got that. A uh, really great trick, the corner of Piccadilly. No, this is not the corner of Piccadilly. This is the this is the Gypsy Curse. That's what this one is. I have the corner of Piccadilly somewhere else. Um, uses the same cards. Oh, this one is uh, what is this one? Oh, I know what this one is. Uh, uh, this, that, and the other is what this trick is called. Long card. It's classic of magic. This is the Tricks and Wands Finger Chopper illusion. So very neat little version of Finger Chopper. Perfect penetration. Stick a pen through a dollar bill. Uh, another blank card wallet. I got some little uh, fake mice in here. There's my fake mice. These are to do, um, I do David Regal's um, chop cup routine. Where he uses a mouse and all that good stuff. So I've got a couple of those for a big finale. This is a special uh, set of pliers. Can't talk about what this is for, but it's for doing some really cool mentalism magic. Got another mouse there. I have a club and a spade, and I have some more of those somewhere around here. And there's some in the magic shop, too. This is uh, one of Tricks and Wands Tricks, Three Wizards and a Fairy. 
Really cool. This is really neat. This is like what a clown might use, or even a magician, maybe. It's one of those comedy bang guns there. There we go. Bang. And this one, oh, it has some million dollar bills to do like ransom or some other stuff. Some big final cups and ball loads. I got uh, in here, let's say I got some more. I got some golf balls to do um, Bill Malone's Rub It Up Dub. Oops, stay up there. There we go. Uh, let's see. Got lots of sponges in here, different colors. I got red, I got green, I got yellow. Uh, here's a heart and a diamond to go at the club and spade. More sponge balls. Lots of sponge balls. You're going to find I have a lot of sponge balls in my magic collection. More sponge balls. These are, I think they're one inch maybe. I can't remember. Um, um, crochet balls to do like cups and balls with. I've got some white ones and some yellow ones, some small ones here. There we go. And I got hole punch. Don't, don't know why. Uh, a pom pom. A small tiny pom pom. Uh, some kind of little thing. I don't know what that's for. One bean bag to do juggling. Uh, this is a butterfly to do. I think I did this during a 365 day magic challenge. I did the tutorial. I have an eight of uh, an eight ball. That's to do dirty pool or also um, Dean's sports balls. And then I had this cool little table that came in a Melissa and Doug magic set, so it can kind of sit here and you can kind of do like uh, magic on it. So you can take a sponge ball, go like that. Uh, that was bad, but you can take a sponge ball like that, go like this. And go like that. So that is the, uh, uh, that's what's in drawer number one. So now I'm going to go, so like a game show, what's in drawer number two? Find out right after this. Let me uh, get this cleaned up and I'll get drawer number two out. All right, so here we go with number two. This is uh, drawer number two. Pulled everything out and let's just get started. This is, uh, let's see, what is this? This is my baby gag. So you have a baby, you have the spectator name of celebrity, uh, Tom Cruise, boom, there's Tom Cruise as the baby. What if we just had uh, Will Smith would have had him covered too. Michael Jackson, he would have been covered too. All right, that's my baby gag. And let's see what else I have in here. Um, this is my brain scan. Uh, it's, you can do cardistry with either the Mona Lisa or a brain scan image. And I have the brain scan as well as the Mona Lisa one. Uh, this is my three card Monty. It's like my, it's Michael Skinner's version, uh, but with these really cool looking old school cards. So I like that. But somewhere I have the corner of pick a diddly trick too, which utilizes the same looking kind of cards. So let me get that back in there. Uh, Matt, um, tricksandwands.com, what the monkey's trick. Wizard uh, calculator. This one is two Nick Tros tricks in one. One of them's horsing around. I can't remember the other one. Uh, two more Nick Tros tricks. I believe this one's another Nick Tros trick. Yep, I bought like all the Nick Tros stuff. Uh, pip art, really great trick where the pips move on a card. This is just a bunch of random cards. Some of these go for some tricks like this is for um, the uh, vampire deck. For, for vampire deck. Big cigar. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah, like a clown cigar. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I uh, got some bottles here to do baffling bottles from Tricks and Wines. I have one more somewhere around here. Another Tricks and Wines trick. Drawer 2 is really my Tricks and Wines tricks. Another, uh, one piece of the Wizards Calculator, the old school Tricks and Wines Wizards Calculator. This one is, let me look inside of here. What is this? Oh, this is Spin Art. Or Spin Out, Spin Art, Spin Out, something like that. Uh, uh, watch Out from Tricks and Wines. Some kind of like little magician's uh, wax kind of thing, sticky adhesive stuff. Oh, this is to do Memento, David Regal's Memento, the gimmick for Memento. Can't talk about that. Uh, Voodoo, really great trick. Pickpocket. Uh, Mom's Monty from tricksandwands.com. Mona Lisa cards, extra Mona Lisa cards. What the monkeys and a blank envelope. This is one to do uh, mysterious coins. You can use a chopstick for that. This is one to do uh, pick a card from Tricks and Wands. Uh, another little one of the inserts that go right in here. One of the little knobs that go in the uh, clutter box. Empty bag because a trick went in there. This is uh, Wizard's Warp by Tricks and Wands. Two more perfect penetration tricks. All right. Put those over there. More Tricks and Wands stuff. This one is You Bug Me. This one is an empty bag. This is, I um, can't remember the name of this one, but it's one where you have the uh, thing on the bottom and then you... Uh, see, it's underneath it, and then you just go like one, two, three, and it's now on top of the thing like that. More of the wizard's calculator. Uh, this is uh, which one part of it? The cat. 
blank bag, or empty bag, I should say. This one has uh, Ice Fang in it. Very great. Tricks and Wands trick. Professor's Nightmare. You can do that with these three ropes here. This is a uh, rope to go in one of the tricks I'll talk about in a moment because it's in the Magic Shop cabinet. Uh, same trick uh, where you take a block and you tie uh, you tie a uh, uh, shoestring around around the block and then you can pull it through without hurting the spectator's hand. That's another rope that goes to that other trick. Uh, two to go with mysterious coins. One of the bags has the coins in it somewhere. Here they are, little Chinese coins. Empty bag. Uh, what's in the box? That's this one here. This one is more of that wizard's calculator. This is... Uh, this one is uh, cups and balls. This is the balls to the cups and balls that Mama Croswell's put out. Which one? The complete pieces. This is the mini coin funnel or penny penny pedestal. Penny pedestal. That's it. Uh, tells bells. Really great trick. Chris Ballinger's Zodiac is in this one, I believe. And this is, which one is this? Oh, another set of which one, as well as a cool little hot ride. So you've got that, and then you could show that being all different colors. You give it a shake, and then it turns to white and then red. Pretty cool. All right, so that's, oh, and I also have a roulette wheel to do a trick that I revealed with, I, I revealed this trick. I'm going to three and the magic challenge. All right, that's drawer number two. Now we're going to move into the uh, side drawers, and we're going to show you some more stuff, what's in the side drawers after this. All right, before we get to the sides of the cabinets, or the sides of the uh, dresser over here, I'm going to show you some random magic that I keep in my close-up case as well in this bag. Uh, I take some of the tricks with me when I go to, like, restaurants and things. I'll carry in this little, like, uh, they call it my gig bag, my family does. And some of the cards that you saw in that card pyramid at the beginning of the video also go in here, too. Uh, but here's some of the tricks. So we're going to start first here. This is some of the stuff that came out of my close-up case. Uh, dirty pool. Really great trick with the pool ball. Magician's gold card. Very amazing trick. Gets good reaction. Uh, this is a... What is this one? Oh, this is... I know what that one is. Okay, I don't need to worry about that. This is... Um, pick a card. Uh, kind of a neat little comedy routine. More tricks and wands tricks. This is the one... Uh, this is um, Build a Beast. I have uh, Guess Guess What is the name of that one. Three Dog Night. And some more little cards there. Lucky Rock. My Lucky Rock. Uh, this is a folded up card to do a trick with us with an iPhone. Giant Sponge Ball. Uh, Jeepers Creepers. That's what that one is. This is to do the uh, Joker Love trick. That's Joker Love. Tiny Little Sponge Ball. The Vanishing by Onward Magic. Oh, uh, mini stay or, or mini pocket illusion by Aster. Great trick. Uh, oh, uh, director's cut. I'm trying to think of the name of some of these. This is a another little sponge ball here. Love sponge ball magic. Really kind of cool. Catch that tiger. Great little kids trick. Friend book. Love that trick. Uh, what else do I have in here? I've got a big uh, Bigfoot by Nick Tros and ES. Uh, no, uh, e, uh, seeing stars. That's the other one that's in here. Uh, let's say I have oh, uh, David Blaine, Strange Travelers. Really a great trick. It's good reaction out on the street. Let's see. Oh, this is uh, uh, Crosswords on this side and, and Captivating ca Captivate. I never know how to say it. Whatever. The Queen trick. Captivating Queens or whatever. Uh, this is, I can't remember the name of this one. I call it Slide of Ink, but I can't. It's some wallet. It's, it's uh, sw Swap Wallet. No, that's not it. But anyways, it's a wallet trick. Uh, I never can pronounce this. This is the Watana and the Watana. I don't. I'm not. I know I'm saying that wrong. The uh, oh, uh, Michael Skinner's three card Monty. Couldn't think of the name there for a minute. Little coin purse and it has some quarters inside of it. And this one is Fish Tales by um, not Wolf Magic. It's the other one. Oh gosh. Uh, they have they have the paddle craft trick. I can't remember it. Oh well, can't remember. But anyways. It's going to come to me later. If it comes to me later off, I'll announce it later as I go through. And then I also have the gimmick in here to do um, eye logo, which I don't want to show that because it's a gimmick, like I say. So that's the stuff I have in my um, close-up bag and case. And as you know, I have my close-up case, but my actual stand that I use for my magic, uh, when I filmed the videos, broke a couple weeks ago. So I'm using my close-up case with the tripod so I can't show it. Actually, I'm going to show it. I'm gonna actually going to show it. Yeah, let me show it. So, let me go over here and I'll show it. So this is my close-up case here. There it is. Boom! And it has the close-up pad on the top. And then I also have down here my 
uh, uh, oh, oh, my briefcase. My, yeah, my Joe Leffer suitcase table. That's what it was. And I have another one of those too, which I'll show off in a minute. So that's going to do it for, uh, this is the close up. I got to fix that camera too. This is the close up uh, section here. Kind of what's in my close up case and bag. And we're going to move on to some more random magic I have inside my um, magic shop uh, video studio here. And then we'll go on to what else is in the uh, dresser coming up in just a minute. All right, more random magic around the magic room. Uh, you, uh, this one is going to be my close-up pads. All of my close-up pads that I have. I have a lot of them, too. You saw the one that was on top of my close-up case, but I also have some other ones here. I have a big black one here. Nice, good size. This is a good size to do um, cardistry on because you need a nice uh, rubber surface. Nice little close-up pad here. I talked about this one at 365 Day Magic Challenge. This is the table hopper one. I think I talked about it during the Magic Challenge. Anyways, Table Hopper one, which got a little nice little uh, thing on the back. Small little black one. These are my favorite ones, though. Uh, I have one of the green ones on top of my case, but I have all of these guys. I have black. These are ones with aces printed in the corner. I've got black. These are all from Viking Magic, by the way. I have red. I have green. And I have blue. All right, let me get let me get some more stuff here. I don't think I'm gonna stop the video. I'm gonna try not to stop the video. So let me get some more stuff over here. Let me close this door up here for just a moment. Oh, I have big bag of sponge balls with a bunch of sponges for like a big final load. Uh, let's see. Oh, I got balloons to do uh, balloon magic with, like uh, such as pressure. Two Magic Geek posters here, number six and number forty-seven. Those really aren't magic tricks, but you know. There, I have them though. Cups to do the uh, spike trick or my Russian roulette trick. So put that over there. Great little trick here. This one is um, the. Uh, this is uh, oh gosh, uh, the bowling ball production. Uh, I, executive briefcase. That's what the name of it is. Executive briefcase. So you can make something up here like a paint can or bowling ball or something like that. Oh, I got even more. I got another close-up pad over here. Take a look at this. Uh, this is a nice wooden close-up pad. It's nice because. It's got kind of a little square thing on the back, and it has a nice little surface here to work on. This is really nice. Though it's, uh, it's a little bit big, but I like using that for kind of practicing on. Because they're better than the flimsy, like, uh, close-up mats. These are it's actual, like, board. This is a nice little, um, uh, what is this? This is a table, and it folds out like this, folds down like that, and it becomes a nice little table. And it sits nicely. It's hard to see because I have the counter in the way, but... It, Sits nicely back here, nice little side table for you to use when you're practicing your magic. And I have one more of the Joe Leffer suitcase tables. Let me try to bring this around here. I think I have magic inside of this suitcase table. So um, trying to bring this around here. So there we go. Okay, suitcase table right here. Uh, I'm gonna not set this up here too long because it might break the glass on the top of this thing. So all right, now let's open up the suitcase table. We're gonna show you inside of these. Oh, that's already open. Cool. Uh, nothing very much in here. Uh, I got another. I got another penetration. Uh, that's. I love. I, you can tell I love that trick. I have a. Oh, this is a rising wand effect. I never can get. Uh, sometimes I can't get this to work because I think this is a cheap dollar store kind. But let's see. You just go up. Whoa! There we go. Ah, right. Uh, jumping rising wand. Sometimes you can make it rise. You can make it jump. Ah, great trick here. This is the uh, wand. This is us. Uh, uh, wizards. Uh, sorcerers. Wizard. Wizards assistant. That's what it is. This is wizards assistant where. Uh, you put this on somebody's head, you have a wizard's hat covering the plunger, and you pull the wand out of the hat like that, and then you lift the hat off, and they're stuck with this stupid-looking plunger on their head. Oh, I have the uh, hat down here. Let me get down here below the camera so you can see some other things that I have. Let's see. I'm going to get all these good things out here. Oh, I have another. No, I put that back in there. All right, here we go. Let me get this back over here. I got another, this is the wizard's hat for the sorcerer's assistant. A really cool little, like, kind of handkerchief thing. Has playing cards all over it. Really neat. Uh, a blooming blossom repeats. So that's the one where the uh, you can take away the top of the flower and it comes back. Uh, soda trick. This is the vanishing coke. Love that trick. And this is the stiff rope. So you can show the rope all limp and all good stuff, and then you can make it stiff by kind of, uh, just merely, merely, merely passing your hand under it, and it merely rises. Well, I'm not using my hypnotic trance today, but you get the gif, gist, though. All right, so now I'm going to clean all this up, and we're going to start bringing out the stuff that is sitting on top of the shelves first. I got some uh, cool little cases and things. I hold some of my magic in. 
Actually, let me start bringing that out now, actually. I can do that right now. So let me do that right now. I've got this really cool case. Uh, you've seen these on some of the videos before. This is a nice little one I use for my street magic. I have some street magic stuff inside of here. Let me bring out this because I'm showing you everything that I own. So i got to bring this out to you here. Uh, let's see. I don't want to show that. <laughs> That's my sign. I don't want to keep on my website. Really cool little trick. Uh, King of Hearts. That's your card. Sponge Bunnies. I have a magic wand inside of here. Boom. I have my Celebrity Smart Butt Prediction inside of here. I've got, what is this? Oh, this is Mentalism uh, Mind Reading 101. The giant card that I like to use for my grandfather's favorite card trick. I hope this doesn't fall. Don't, oh, I'll just do that. Okay, my grandfather's favorite card trick. I have my electric deck inside of here. That's this deck here where you can uh, make it look like you got really rad shuffling skills. Yeah, I said rad, I said rad. And this is a great one. Let me get this open here. I don't think I did this for the magic challenge, but uh, anyways, you show it. Uh, fun and uh, fun and magic, some wacky stuff presented to Amaze and Amuse from 2 to 102. And then you say, no, that's not my show. And they say, fun and magic, some wacky stuff, and a fabulous show for all ages. No, uh, no, let's try it this way. Here we go. Wild magic tricks, fabulous for all ages. Well, you know, I will do tricks for food. I will do tricks for food. All right, tricks for food is what that one's called. All right, let me put some of this stuff back in here. This is my street magic show. This is some of my street magic stuff inside of here, so I don't want to mix all this up. I've already mixed some of it up today anyways, but still. All right, let's see. Small little case that's broken. I got this from Michael's. A really cool looking case. It looks, It's got like around the world stuff on it. Let me look inside of here. Ah, here's some stuff inside of here. A great little tricks and wands trick. It's called Predict the Disc. Great trick. I love that one. Flash Dice by Tenyo. What else is in here? Uh, random cards, apparently. Nothing inside of here? No. Uh, Doomsday Prophecy. Uh, Restored Credit by David Regal. The Dummy iPhone. Really cool little the dummy iPhone there. Uh, this is, um, what is this? This is um, Trick of the Month. Trick of the Month. Trick of the Month. Uh, I got my Papa Rabbit Hits the Big Time. Great, funny little trick. Great way to do the Sponge Rabbits. I love that one. Uh, this is, um, can't remember the name of this one. I think I did it for the Magic Challenge. It's some other way to do uh, the Wave. It's a new way to do the wave. Looks like that's all in here and just some regular no-nonsense cards. I seem to have a, regular, a lot of regular no-nonsense cards in, in my magic. Oh, I got some unused DVDs here. Let's see. I don't want to show that, but I do want to show this. I got uh, Pen Pal. I have a signed copy of Zodiac I got for Christmas because... Uh, they had that tiered gift giveaway thing, Magic Geek did. I have, uh, what is this? This is ink? Jump ink and uh, extreme CD manipulation. You may see these coming up real soon. Can't talk more about that. Uh, but there may be an award for the best uh, thing. Hint, hint, wink, wink. Uh, <laughs> coming up soon. So I have here, if you, if you found, if you found that, uh, that's going to be a question later at the end. If you stick around for the end of this video. Uh, another little case, ow. Got a big one of those cases. Okay, wait, let me get it out of here. Oh, oh, oh. Stuff's falling, stuff's falling. Uh, big case. It's kind of like that that tan one I showed you, but a little bit bigger. I got some cool stuff inside of here. I got the all, all my stuff to do my uh, Russian roulette trick. This is really cool. I'm going to show that in a minute. I got a wizard's hat in here. This is really cool, though. It's great for street magic. Uh, when you know want to perform, it's nice because this actually folds out. If I can get it to... Uh-oh, wait a minute. Did I break it? No, okay, it's this way. No, wait, no. I did break it. What? Did I break that? Just a minute here. Oh, wait, oh, wait a second. Okay, oh, it goes this way. Okay. I think I might have broken this thing. This thing was really cool, too. Oh, it goes this way. Yeah, there we go. This is actually, when you perform, like if you're performing out on the street, you can hook this around here. I, I did break this chair. It, oops, I just said what it was. But anyways, it turns into a chair. So you can do that. And it turns into a neat little chair you can sit on outside. Kind of cool. Nice for when you're doing street magic and you want to take a little bit of a break from performing. You can make yourself up a chair. And it fits right in your pocket too, which I really like. Or it fits nicely in your case. i got to fix this chair because I broke it. Actually, I got it at the dollar store for like five bucks. So we're at the five and below stores where I got it. So, all right. And uh, that's going to do it for what's over here. Oh, I have two other things here. Actually, I got a couple other things here. I have, since I'm going through everything. Okay. 
lollipop trick. That was very random. This is, oh, uh, Color Monty and some other trick here. I think this might be 21 or something. I got inside of here a little foam brick, like fooling people with the foam brick. It's really cool. Pulling it out and making them think it's a real brick. Uh, oh, this is uh, Vegas Visit. And this is the princess card trick. No, this is the uh, 52 card on one, and then you have the long card trick like that. Really cool. All right. So I'm going to definitely get this cleaned up because that's all the magic over uh, on top of the uh, top of the um, uh, dresser. I couldn't think of the word. We got all this cleaned up. We're going to come back and I'll show you what's on the sides of the dresser. And then we're going to move on to the three-tiered cabinet and my other close-up cases. Hope you enjoy and I'll be right back after I get it cleaned up. All right, let's keep going with more magic. I found some more stuff that I actually did not make it into my close-up case, but I have. Uh, this is Three Dog Night. The other one that was in a uh, purple bag like this was Make the Foods Match. This is my uh, Twisted Sisters trick, Gorilla My Dreams by Tricks and Wands. Okay, let's continue on now. I got some rubber bands. Don't know what they're for. <laughs> I think I know what they're for, though. I have a hat, magic hat, that I got from Six Flags, actually, one year. Uh, this is the fishing for a card trick. Can't remember the exact name of that trick. Balloons, 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 and more balloons to do the sorts to do the balloon swallow effect. My pouch for my uh, tells bell. This little bell I have down here. We'll we'll show that in a minute. Dollar bill, dollar dollar. Uh, this is the uh, trick to do bank uh, blank night by John Archer. Little um. Little fake little mouse. My memento trick by David Regal. My memento trick. Number one sponge. Balloon pump to blow up those balloons. Frayed Not by Chris Ballinger. Another dollar dollar. My really cool card, a really cool phone case with playing cards on it. When I do my magic, drop that. Small deck of cards, mini deck of cards. Spirit slates, the box and the slates for that. Half dollar, piece of chalk, Chris Ballinger's Redemption, a fish, random. Rabbits, 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 rabbits everywhere. I did that for the 365 Day Magic Challenge. My uh, trick ready to go for Bellarons Rubber Dub Dub. Two Sharpies and a breakaway wand. Regular magic wands. Uh, Overstuffed by Bizarro, one of the cookies to do that with. I uh, got a bunch of stuff in here. I got some golf balls, some eggs, an eyeball, and the base for the uh, ball and base trick. And I have a little tiny small ball. fits in the. That's the one that fits in the ball and base down there. Egg bag and my note from Jay Brothwick. I believe this is my Jay Brothwick note. Yes, that he sent me when he sent me the Trickster DVD, which I have somewhere in the Magic Shop case over here. All right. I think I'm going to pull out drawer number two, and because uh, I have two sides to this dresser and two shelves. So we're going to keep going. Uh, scissors inside of here, and a cup to do the haunted timber. This is the cup I'm going to start using when I'm out on the street, because one of my glass cups broke, so I don't want that. Um, breakaway fan, really great trick. Oh, to add to my magic collection, my Magic Geek tea. Can't forget about that. Uh, top of the ball and vase. Appearing flowers. Wow, see, they appear. <laughs> okay. Uh, just kidding. All right, my small ending for the confusing crowns. Blindfold. This is the see-through blindfold. Really cool. Uh, the base of the backstage trick. Uh, egg Chinese egg mat. Uh, bottom to the backstage trick. The panels for the backstage trick. Flower, appearing flower from Magic Wand. Nest of Wands. Gimmick uh, for a trick that I can't uh, go into. Where is the... What did I do with that? Oh, whatever. All right, put that right there. Uh, let's see. Fortune Teller uh, Book of Days. Don't know how that trick works. I got it. Forgot it. Uh, forgot, how to, forgot how to do it. My really cool magic wand. This is a magic wand. One of the ones that uh, uh, Mama Croswell's or tricksandwands.com sells. I won that for winning one of their contests. TV uh, card production frame. And my Confusing Crowns trick that used to be on the Magic Shop set, but I have no room for it anymore. <laughs> now that I have the uh, other trick on there, I'll talk about that in a moment. I have uh, 
Let's see, the acrylic pieces to go in that card frame. Card that's been burnt, and my trick to do, um, yeah, the uh, extreme burn, extreme burn. So that's gonna do it for the first side of this cat. Actually, I got, I got more. I got more. Let me go down here and get more. This is kind of my close-up shelf. I'm gonna try to get all this on camera here. I don't know if this is gonna work very well. Let's see. These two, this, the coin tube thing. I don't know what that's called. A uh, blank card wallet and a stock of paper. Uh, what's in here? Oh, this is a um, uh, shark refill. Shark refill there. Boom. Post-it notes. One of my uh, money presses. The rope trick. This is uh, Rubik's, the Rubik's Cube trick. I forgot the name of this trick. Another pen. Not another penetration, though. Don't worry. Uh, oh, this is cracked. Really cool way to crack your sun or you crack, crack your glasses. Uh, let's see. I've got uh, oh, oh, the the uh, wand sticks. I forgot the name of this trick though. The name uh, escapes me. Pencil marker, giant puffy wand. I don't even know what that's for. That's for the genie bottle. It's a piece of rope for the genie bottle. I have the prediction for that Rubik's cube trick. Let's see. And one of the mustache cards from Mustache, and some rabbit cards, big piece of chalk, and a quarter. Uh, let's see, I have a oh a picture of some magician. I have a gimmick which I can't talk about. Some more quarters. Uh, I have one of the mustaches for Chris Ballinger's mustache. I have a uh, exploding thing there. Let's see, uh, another penetration trick. Oh, geez, get ready to fall on me. Uh, staples for the roulette trick, and I knew it was gonna fall on me. I almost got killed. Another dollar bill. Uh, let's see, I can't talk about that right now. Some more post-it notes. Let's see, this is, uh, whoa, uh, x-ray box, glue stick, mini spirit slates, or no, mini, uh, me mini mental epic board, <laughs> the, another finger chopper, boom, there's that. Let's see, uh, got my kind of earbud looking things, that goes to eye deck. I've got my string of lights from mouth. I have my card press. Let's see. Uh, this is emergency cash. Great little trick, emergency cash. Uh, this is one where a key ring appears on your key fob. It's not fobbed, though, whatever the trick is called. I can't remember the name of the trick. Uh, did I drop anything else? Nope. Okay, I got more, though. More, though, I have a little uh, brushy brush, small little brush for applying a gimmick to another trick. Let's see, I have a bunch of cards here. I have a CD which had something on it. A uh, piece of rope. I'm not going to put those there. A piece of rope. The snake to do the tricks and wands snake trick. And, ah, here's some more stuff here. I have uh, a cube. It's a disappearing cube trick. Cube disappears. Uh, let's see, I have my genie bottle right there. I have a $2 twister, which I don't think is ready to go. I think it's missing something. And, ah, there goes that cube. It just hit me. It just hit me. Some blank cards and uh, one of my uh, things for my compressed deck trick that I got from Elmwood Magic. And I have some more gimmicks down here, which I can't talk about because I would expose them very rarely. All right. That's going to do it for the first side of the cabinet. I'm going to get the second side of the cabinet. We're going to start doing that. I'm going to get this all cleaned up. We'll do the second side in just a moment. We're almost at the home stretch. We have a couple more things to go, and then we'll be done. All right, so here we go. This time, I'm just not even going to lay anything out. I'm just going to walk over there, grab stuff, bring it on here. Here we go. All right, so I've got, well, I can't bring that out. I have a trash can. Uh, it's actually a laundry hamper, uh, but that's when I do celebrity smart. But I have an egg. That's an egg. Whoops, well, you can't really see that. That's an egg. You put your phone in it, and it amplifies your music. String, whoops, wait a minute. It's stuck. There we go. String of hot dogs right there. String of dogs. Cheese. Well, it's fake cheese anyways, but it's cheese nonetheless. Uh, this is a poor man's cuts and balls. Terrible trick. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, let's see. I have ants for ant hack. Something goes in here. Probably more ants. Chris Ballinger's mustache refill. And some ex excess cards right there. Business card holder, six card repeat by El Capitan. 
I call this next thing my mini magic training wand. Because look how teeny weeny it is. Linking rings. Staple of magic. Gotta love the linking rings. Scorpion moth. Right here. I have the uh, gimmick to do the neck cracker with. So let me just uh, crack my neck here on camera. There we go. All right. And, uh, oh, uh, let's see. I've got some, the uh, eight card brain wave. Eight card brain wave. Bailey Taylor's Guess Again Revelation with Swap Wallet. The two pieces that go into Zigzag Rocky. Magician's Insurance Policy. Uh, color Changing Easel. This is a really great trick where you go like this, you give the easel a little bit of a shake, and if I can do this right, you go like that, give it a little bit of a shake, and the colors disappear. It's almost like the uh, disappearing crown trick that you can get. Uh, okay, I have Perfect Match. Kind of a neat little trick. I think I did that for the Magic Challenge early on. DVD for something. I think it has music on it. Silent Treatment. A prediction, another insurance policy, and a 52 card on one gag. Uh, stickers, can't show you those. That's going to ruin some trick. Uh, this is um, the prediction for sketch matic This is, uh, I can't remember the name of this trick, but it's a, it's a Mark Mason trick. Uh, predict a card, I think it's called. Some more of my, uh, uh, the uh, Mentalist Mind Reading 101 cards. This is the uh, basically the, the coloring book done with stamps. Prediction for nothing. That's right. This is for uh, for Vanishing Bandana. The cover for the Scorpion Moth trick. More uh, Vanishing Bandana stuff. This is the uh, Fortune Teller prediction trick. Very, very good trick. Let's see. That I can throw away because I don't need any more. Magic Show sign. Don't know why I have that. Let's see, what else do I have in here? Sparkle Laundry Box Refills, sketch matic Grave Mistake, uh, Looking for a House, uh, this one I call Do the Math, another prediction for What's My Job, this is the Tomb Trick, the, G the uh, Jesus Trick that you can do for Easter, uh, Max Major, when he did uh, Russian Roulette with me, I have his autograph there. All right, I have Romeo and Juliet and the Magic Rabbit Book. Squatch Tape Dispenser. All right, I'm gonna keep going here. I got two more shelves in here, then we can move on. I have my diminishing milk tumblers here, my four tumblers. All right. Bunch of silks inside of here. So let's see, I've got a yellow silk that goes for the clatter box. This one is a um, devil's hanky. This is the vanishing bandana ultimate ending you can have. I have a white silk, I have a shirt. I don't know why I have a t-shirt in here. White silk, the end silk, red silk. Uh, let's see, blue silk, uh, one of the mismade flags, two of the mismade flags actually, dream bag, uh, yellow and white silk. Got another uh, mismade flag in here. Another devil's uh, hanky. Let's see, lots of small silks inside. I'm gonna throw all these on the ground here. All right, let me pick all these back up, all right? One moment, all right, there we go. All right, so I have here, uh, black and white clown. Orange silk, colorful clown, green silk, thank you silk, it says thank you on it with a uh, rabbit, blue silk, blendo silk, Lady Liberty vanished, Dodge Liberty vanished, red silk, the other vanished, the other one where she actually vanishes, blue silk, blue silk, white silk, uh, red silk, blue silk, and I have... Um, that's the 20th century underwear trick. I have Chris Ballinger's mustache right here. Mustache, mustache, mustache. Uh, oh, I have a gray hair on my counter. Gray hair, haha. -ha. Okay. Let's see what else I have in here. I've got uh, some kind of uh, big long chain of silks, small chain of silks, <laughs> silk fountain, another silk blendo, giant peacock silk, black, so a couple of black silks. I think there's two there. Uh, let's see. Uh, one of a really, look, really great guy. I'm gonna squirt some mustard on there. Ah, see, I squirted mustard. Ah, uh, ketchup too. Ah, ketchup and mustard. Ah. Okay. There's, it's just, uh, it's just a, uh, so, it's just a uh, rope in there. Let's see. I have white gloves. I have my fire wallet. I have my eye twist gimmicks. 
What else is in here? Uh, let's see. Oh, that's a uh, special something, something. I can't show you the rest of that. Uh, two small little United States flags. White silk, green silk, blue silk, black silk. That's the, uh, that's the old standard kid trick where you go like that and the silks change color. And then you go like that and they change back. Uh, let's see. Some more for the uh, soapy suds. I got the pink lipstick stains. Don't worry. They're not mine. Red silk, yellow silk, more yellow silks. And I have a ton of extra, ton of extra geeky times. There we go. One more shelf, then we can move on. Let's see, I've got a rock. I got a rock, no candy. I got all my staplers to do the uh, Russian roulette trick. It's Cobra Kiss. Let me, wait a minute. Cobra Kiss, there's all my Cobra Kiss staples. Lures, staplers. Uh, let's see, I have random jokers. I have a random playing card. I have nail through the dang it, I have nail through the nose. I have another bagless purse frame here. I have a very long booger that can hang out of the nose. It's disgusting, but kids love them. I do kids' parties. I have a color mini coloring book Monty in there. Let's say I have a card wallet with a card inside of it, two of diamonds. I don't know why there's two of diamonds in there, but that's weird. I have a gigantic uh, I have a clown nose. I have the thumb cuffs for Houdini and card surgery by Tenyo. As I stick that down there because it's going to fall. Uh, matches. Matches, matches. I've got some small matches here. I've got more jokers. I have, uh, let's see, something inside of this deck here. Oh, it's uh, it's some alternate endings for the Joker love trick. I have a little mini wizard. Everything's falling off here. I have my sword through neck illusion. Yes, I'm trying to get all this on camera. Another sharpie right here. I have my sword swallowing sword. And I have my, what is that? That is my... Uh, Disappearing card case. Uh, it's another paddle craft trick by um, the same people who made the fishtails trick. I have much more. Uh, I have more cups and balls. These are uh, uh, aluminum, aluminum, aluminum. I have something here with some stuff inside of it, some junky stuff. One giant ball though for like an end of a cups and ball routine. And let's see, I have oh, the, I have all my little pips here to do the uh, wipe off trick for Chris Ballinger's Antac deck. And I have a giant mustache, and I also have this little prediction thing, a little holder I could use to hold a prediction or something like that. All right, so that is, I think that's, yep, that looks like that. All right, so that's going to be it for that shelf. Now we're going to move on. Um, there's a lot more magic, man, so I may not get to the rest of it. Uh, there's a lot of magic. Okay. Uh, I'm going to put everything back, and then we're going to come back, and hopefully maybe I'll just move on, and we'll keep going. We'll see what happens, though. So let's keep going, and we'll be right back after we got all this cleaned up. All right, we're in the home stretch now. We just got this left in the cabinet down here. All right, here we go. Starting up here on the top, we're going to go top, and we're just going to go straight down. So I have here, below me, tomorrow, DVD. I've got uh, hip, uh, Run Rabbit Run, Overstuff by Bizarro. Uh, Soapy Suds, Passe Passe Chimneys, Mad Sponges, Below Meets Marlowe, DVDs all in the back. Let's see, starting over here we have Impossible Monty by Barry Taylor, Cobra Kiss, Cups and Balls by, Cups and Balls by Below Meets Marlowe, and Distortion. We also have over here, we have the Zigzag Rocky, Dice from Bag, uh, Magic Coloring Book, Duck, Educated Duck, uh, Cook Cola Bottle, and uh, uh, Disappearing Crowns, Pressure. DVDs in the back. We have storytelling decks over here. Matthew Breach's Back Twist. Uh, Rap Fire Cups and Balls, Barry Taylor, More Meets Marlowe, and Last Word on Card Monty Volume 3. Then I also have here, uh, looks like I have the Last Chance Briefcase. And then we have the Emergency bo uh, Clarity Box. And we have um, Ball and Vase. Can't remember the name of this trick. Hippity Hop Rabbits. We have. Uh, Platter box, vanishing bandana, half guard in the back, cardiologist deck, magic with business cards, extreme burn. I'm gonna turn that a little bit. And Barry Taylor's mouse surprise. Over here we have the car, the die box, cups and balls, DB, uh, J, uh, J. Patrick's twi trickster, twixter, twixter. I've been filming too much. It's twixter. Uh, we have trickster by J. Patrick. We have uh, all three of these are funny money boxes. We have what is this? This is the ring box. We have the crystal clear box with Chana silks inside. Spongeball Magic, card, or card Artistry, Barry Taylor's Magic Castle Aces, Jay Sankey's Bigger Finish, and the Chop Cup, World's Greatest Magic, Magic World's Greatest Magicians. Uh, glass with a silk inside of it. I have uh, Haunted Timber, um, Card Castle Prediction. Back here I have my uh, Tell Bell right here. Box for Antac, Counterfeit Detector, 
stratosphere, the stratosphere box right here, the Joker on it, uh, the ring, uh, the strong box, freedom pack, uh, Guess Again Revelation, uh, Amazing Magic Tricks with Cups and Balls, Last Order on Card Monkey Volume 1, uh, David, uh, Paul Romney's Multiplying Bottles and Barry Taylor's Famous Penny Routine. Multiplying Potato Chips, Bill Malone, uh, Love Meets Marlowe Volume 1, Magic for Dummies, uh, the Egg Can, Comedy Egg Can, one of the, uh, one of the, uh, Confusing Crowns, uh, back here, Mad Angry Sponges, the Annihilation Deck, Art of Levitation, the Shark and Pale Coin and Pen Cap, Stop, Stop, Scott Strain, Dodd Balls, and the other uh, three card Monty DVD. I have one of the Dream uh, Bag boxes here the uh, uh, Vincent Van Gogh uh, Vanishing Painting. I have the Fishbowl Mystery by Takanawa. I know I'm saying his name wrong. Uh, Sam's Magic Band down here. Bill Malone on the Loose DVDs. I have, um, <coughs> excuse me, also the Here I Go Again DVDs. A big box of all the pool balls on a standard pool table. Because you can swap out the balls when you do dirty pool. I have uh, Clip That Queen, a falls sign right down here. And I have a couple extra DVDs down here just to fill in the bottom. And sorry, my computer just dinged there. All right. And let's see, I also have this. Uh, this goes in a dove pan. I have all my uh, close-up pads down here, the ones with the aces on them. I have a trash can down here, except it's a, kind of like a prop receptacle here. And it's also got the um, newspaper in here to do the um, uh, No Tear 2 by Andy Dallas. I also have the Dream Bag itself. And I have this uh, ESP trick with some more DVDs down there as well. All right, so that's all that's in the cabinet here. Now, I'm going to... Uh, stop the camera. We're going to go and do the look down angle so you can see what's inside the shelves here. And then that's going to be the end of the video. So let me just go ahead and stop this camera and then we will finish with the end of the video. All right, look down angle. Here we go. We got mad sponges. We have a uh, mini coloring book. We have uh, confusing boxes. Right over here, that's the Tenyo uh, uh, coin pyramid. I have hot rod, six card repeat, the echo friendly deck, clubs, hearts, spades, diamonds. The little pips, you can't really see that. Let me move that down so you can see it. There we go. That's perfect. Uh, clubs, hearts, spades, diamonds, uh, pips, sponges. I have my little monster uh, from the Build a Beast trick by Tricks and Wands. I have the eye test. I got the two tiny plungers. I have a half dollar size penny. Vaudeville deck, mustache, uh, mustache little package there. Uh, let's see. Bagless purse frame and two little balls. Uh, my favorite card trick, the Memento. This is uh, one of the fishtails. This is Stickman deck. This is the uh, uh, the coin funnel penny pedestal uh, from what from Tricks and Wands. What's inside the box from Tricks and Wands? Hair raising hats. The uh, Nosferatu two card from the Dracula deck. My pet Boris magic spider. The traffic light trick zombie deck. Uh, three little balls and three cups for the cups and balls. Two dollar twister. Uh, this this one is Financial Wizard. I have Chad Long's Flash here. Let me move this over. Restored Credit. I have a small little bunny. I'm going to move the camera over so you can see what else I have here. Push, 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 push. And push it a little bit more. Sorry, I know there's going to be a bad noise here as I move this camera over. All right. That's perfect right there. All right. So we have the, uh, we have the Americana deck uh, on the case. Little Ruby Rod right there. Money Press. Chattering Teeth, Wonder Pencil, The Giant Rabbit, Ants for Antac, The Antac Refill, Star Trek by Barry Taylor, Vanishing Coin, SpongeBob's Triumph Deck, Expert Back Deck, uh, Mini uh, mini Squared Circle, I have the two uh, Big Coins, Penny and Half Dollar, and Chris Ballinger's Redemption. Now, let me go ahead and move this camera down here. Hopefully, I can get this without knocking the camera over, because I'd like to be able to show the second shelf here on the in the case. So I'm going to scooch this back here just a little bit. Oh, why we have this angle up here? Let me show you what's on the bottom. Some of the stuff you can see. Chris Angel Mind Freak Magic Kit, Multiplying Bottles, Rocky. This is the uh, the uh, trick I do with the roulette, the Russian roulette trick. Behind the Rocky, I have uh, my Auto 3 card Monte. I have two boxes back here. I have a box for um, golf balls. And there's a box behind it. Let me get it out here so you can see it. The box behind it is for um, got little pool balls on it. I have my hat back here and a uh, magician's insurance policy. This hat is my tip jar when I'm out on the street. I have, oh, I have the big uh, flash drive, the final ending for Chad Long's flash. I also have Peekaboo right here. It's a really funny card trick. Let me push this over so you can see what else I have. I have my superhero glasses down here and I have my, um, 
uh, appearing card castle from bag, and I have the three card castles down here as well as one of the Oreo cookies for the uh, for the uh, b uh, overstuffed by Bizarro trick. I have one of the Oreo cookies right there. All right, and let me take the camera off, and we have one more angle to do, and we have our uh, second shelf here. So I'm going to try to take this down and hopefully not mess this up. So let's see. Okay, oh, that's going to be perfect. If I can just move this over there like that. Good. All right, here we go. Uh, this is the final shelf. I'm so ready to stop filming this thing here. Okay, uh, I have, uh, I don't know what this trick is called, but it was part of a magic set. Whoops, you can't even see that trick. Let me move this over just a tiny little bit more so you can see what I'm talking about there. Perfect. Okay, so here we go. I have this little trick. It came in, in part of a Melissa and Doug magic set. Uh, Chris Ballinger's doll system. Uh, color changing cube to, to uh, balls. Uh, this is the sponge mouse to cheese. I have a uh, ball and vase down here, really cool looking one. Nest the boxes from Melissa and Doug set. This is a, a Penny Smasher, Mystic Mind Ball from David Regal. Uh, big jumbo deck of playing cards. S uh, sponge Bananas, I've got a big one and some little ones down here. Red and Blue Magic Castle cards. Uh, Tricks and Wands Trick, this is uh, Magic X-Ray. It's got the uh, M-A-G-I-C on all of these. I have a Zombie Ball. I have a Zombie Florid here. Uh, got uh, Pluma a Deck from Bicycle. The Haunted Key right here. Sponge Ice Cream, Kaleidoscope Cards Elite. Uh, this is a uh, Sticks and Stones trick from tricksandwands.com. I think I can move over here and do a couple more if I can move the camera over. Let me just move the camera over now. That way I can avoid doing that later. All right, there we go. That's perfect. Okay, so now we also have here, uh, what else is down here? Red and blue back bicycle cards. Monarch. This is, uh, oh gosh, um, Gypsy Kurt. Oh no, the Gypsy, uh, the, the, uh, Get, uh, the Gypsy Bottle. Gypsy Bottle. I have uh, tricksandwands.com uh, cups and balls set. Rubik's Cube. This is the Enchanted Cube by Daryl. Uh, this is the trick where you take and you uh, tie a string around it, but you tie the string through the um, through a little uh, wooden piece in here, and then you can pull it off, and the string comes off completely clean. Uh, let's see. Sponge balls. I have a small little sponge ball. This is the Tenyo Confusing Cubes. I have a Sword in the Stone trick, another set of Cups and Balls plastic with a little big load on the top, 3D Sponge Rabbits, I have the Nesting uh, Coin Boxes, Killer Bee, Chain of Silks, Sea Sponges from TricksandWands.com, uh, let's see, this is a, a special puzzle box right here with a dollar bill inside of it, uh, X-Ray, but instead of having uh, color, it's actually gems inside of there, it's a gem cube, and then finally, like the Executive Briefcase, but a really small down version, it's like uh, Tenyo's 4D Briefcase. All right. That is everything. That's all the magic that I have uh, up here. So very, very exciting. Thank you guys for watching this extra long video. Hope you enjoyed seeing all the magic that I own, and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye, everyone. I pour it right inside of here, and notice that the milk, of course, you get the, the two tubes, and you get a uh, certain amount of bottles. Let me grab one of the bottles. A series on my channel where every single Friday I'll be uploading a brand new video in which I'll teach you how to do an easy magic trick